Good day, everyone. We are back. Uh, we are still on the same question paper, which is November 2022. And we are now doing question one. And question one is based on fixed assets and statement of comprehensive income. The accounting period is the period of 12 months. So it started on the 1st of March 2020 to 28 February 2021. Very important to note the financial period, the accounting period, the beginning and the end. The beginning is the 1st of March 2020 and the end is the 28th of February 2021. So we are only dealing with the transactions which relates to that period. It will be important that you have this question paper in front of you so that you are able to follow this lesson and you are not left out. Our vehicles were valued at 63,250 at the beginning of the accounting period. Our depreciation for the year for the vehicles is 25,500 for the new vehicle plus depreciation of the old vehicle which is 63,249 and this gives us the total of 88,749. If this asset can be sold by 33,920, it will mean that the business will neither make profit nor loss. And this now takes us to the question, which is 1.1.2. You have your carrying value of 33,920. The selling price is 40,000 minus 33,920. So this business has made profit of 6,000. And 80. So under your other income, you have your profit on sale of an asset. Profit on sale of an asset. And this profit is 6,018. It's an income to the business. The business, your other income, this is an income to us, which is 6,080. Remember, I told you, even when we were doing depreciation, that it is important when you are doing this calculation, whatever that is going to affect the income statement, it must be transferred immediately before you even forget that there was such an item.